is Michelle from A Noble Touch and I'm just going to decorate this lantern and so I thought well I will do a quick video so I can put it up on YouTube for you. What I'm going to do is I bought this cute little lantern at a antique shop and um, so it's kind of it's got some rust to it and everything um, but it should go great in my living room. Um, what you're going to need is just a, a piece of foam, um, dry foam, just set it inside. Then I, I bought this cute white pumpkin here, this cream color, colored pumpkin. And what I'm going to do is set it on top like this. Now I don't want to glue it just because I plan on, um, you know, switching it out for the season. So, but I love fall, so I've been excited to decorate for fall. Um, I picked these little pumpkin... Um, the, the uh, pumpkin mix sprays right here at Walmart. They're yellow pumpkin mix. Uh, they're 97 cents a piece. I thought that was a really good deal. So I got seven of them total. I'll see if we need to use all seven or not. Then I also have these little... I get these just from the local store down the road. Um, but what I do is untwist the wire so I get little pieces of cream to pop in to pull the white out right there. So you just unwrap the wire. You can use any any type of little cream um, decor that, that you can find. So now all I'm going to do is just go ahead and start decorating this. Um, I'm going to try to go from the outsides because I want some of it off sticking out and decor you know decorating the whole outside of it and I'm gonna have to cut these a little shorter some of them anyway I'm just pushing in that foam there and the object is just to cover the green the green foam Leave some sticking out like that. And the pumpkins. Put a little bit lower. Like I said, I'm not gluing this just because I'm going to take it apart for when I do the Christmas or. Or decorate it for Christmas, I should say. And you can add lights to it. I'll probably add lights, but I don't think I have any white lights yet. So I've got to pick some up. Now the only thing is, is if you have cats, they might like this way too much if it's sticking out. But, you know, this is really cute. I've seen this lady do something similar. Um, she had a glass, a glass lantern, and it was beautiful. She did such a nice job on it. So I thought, oh, I want to make one for myself. And, you know, if you just have stuff laying around that you needed to use up at home, this is just a cute way to use them up and add some color. I think I might have cut a few of these too short. I'm going to have to cut a little bit longer, I think.
make sure you get all the paper from the tag off. I hate they put that around like that. Push that up a little bit. Just a cute, easy decoration to do. I put that in there, and I wanted to. So I'm not sure if you're familiar. Um, I do have a. Big uh, crafting group on Facebook. It's called Wreath Creators and More. So if you're not a member of that, please join that. We have so many talented people in that group. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of neat sharing in there. So make sure you join. We would love to have you. How's that looking so far? Pretty, I think it's looking halfway decent. I think I need some of the long grass type because I have some here but I don't see it on the other spots Get these shears just right. I think that's looking pretty decent. Maybe a little bit more over here. A little longer. It's looking pretty cute. What do you guys think? Put a few more white ones in. Get that. Hold on. That was bending on me. I gotta maybe cut some of this off. This is just something to decorate my mantle for my fireplace. Go, <laughs> there, that's better. And you know, there's just no rhyme or reason to this. I'm just 
stick them in where I think they look good. Now hopefully my cats don't destroy this. <laughs> okay, so I think that looks pretty cute. And now what I'm going to do is just add a bow to the top. Um, I made, I am not a bow aficionado by any means. However, I do have a fabulous product called the Pro Bow, the Pro Bow Hand. Um, and this is my first time doing a Terry Bow is what, they, what they're called. But this is the ribbon I used. This is item number... RT16-139. It's a two and a half inch. I believe I want to say I got this from Craft Outlet, but it might have been a year ago or over a year because um, I just don't make a lot of bows. <laughs> and then this one here, I believe I got from Craft Outlet as well. And the item number is RG1604MY. It's again two and a half inches. And this decorative ribbon, I know I got from Dollar General. So I thought that would, would go cute together. Okay, so I have to redo my bow because I sent the owner of the pro bow, the hand, Regina Sellers, she's a good friend of mine. I sent her a picture and she knows I don't typically do bows. And I'm like, what do you think of this bow? Do you think I need to trim the tails? You know, I said, this is my first attempt at the Terry bow. What she calls She's like, call me. So I call her. And she's like, darling, bless your heart. She says, uh, that ain't no Terry bow. <laughs> she's, I'm like, well, I watched the video. And she says, whose video did you watch? And I'm like, uh. Because <laughs> her videos are so detailed, you know. So I said, well, I just Googled it. And yours was like 45 minutes. And the other one was only 16 minutes. And she's like, Get back out and watch my video. So, we had a great laugh over it. So apparently for the cherry bow, you need six different ribbons. So I'm still going to use um, the three that I used in the first bow. And then I'm going to add some gold glitter. And then I have this cute ball plaid looking one. And I believe I got these from... Um, um, Joann's at one time and then this one I, I know I got from Dollar General but it's got gold leaves in it so I'm gonna try to add that as well so <laughs> we'll show you um, when I'm all said and done what we're gonna do or how's how it's gonna look and I'll show you how to fluff the bow when you're done to make it look pretty okay so I made uh, the bow it's gonna look like this all stacked and I have it on the fluff box so I can move it around. And this is where I went wrong was the fluffing part. So you take your, your bottom, you start from the bottom. You're going to take your loop here and just pull it. And then you're going to take the other loop and pull it. And then the tails, you can leave them just straight out like that. So it looks like a, a T or an X. And then you take your next level and you pull it here. And then you take your next loop and just you're going to pull it. And you're going to pull it, you know, opposite. So you want your loops opposite, like right across from each other. And then you want your tails right across from each other. Like that. And then, you know, as we get it all situated, you can um, poof your bows out there. So then, the next one would be this one. The gold leaf one. I'm going to 
pull it that way. And pull it this way. So again, it's across from each other. And then the tails, so that tail we're going to go over here. And over here. Okay, so now this one might be able just to keep this bow straight like this. <coughs> like that. And then move this. Tail out this way. Looking pretty. Okay, Regina, you were right. <laughs> I should have just watched your video to begin with. <clears throat> and now we have the gold. So let's see, I think the gold, we're going to go this way with the bow. Like that. And then last but not least is the um, the plaid. We'll go like that. So then you just go through and Just fluff your bows, and then your tails, you just kind of, because they're wired ribbon, so you just kind of slide your fingers, and you want it kind of poofy. And of course I fishtailed the uh, ends there. Oh, I forgot to do this tail here. So when you fishtail your ends, you're just going to put the two seams like this together, the two sides. And then you cut on the folded section out. Just on an angle, and you get your fishtail. So, all in all, I think it's turning out pretty nice. So this would be the proper Terry Bowl that was created or designed by uh, Terry Lynn Marshall of Mill and Dill Designs. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that on the lantern. And then I'll take a picture of it when it's all said and done. But this is. Looks pretty good. So if you're going to make one of these, go right to Regina. <laughs> Regina Sellers uh, YouTube video on this because she is very detailed. Um, even if you get the first couple minutes, you see how the first one goes on. You can fast forward it to the end where she takes it off and then fluffs it. So anyway, thanks for joining me. You guys have a great day.